and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena we're going to be playing a cool deck that I'll show you in a second. But first we're going to do a few other things. Uh, we're going to check out the Mastery Pass, and I'm going to show you some tips on how to get your Vault Progress a little bit faster. Also, i got to mention a few codes. I believe I mentioned them in the last video, but I want to make sure everybody gets these. So first of all, I'm going to reroll my quest to start my day, as always, going for those seven fitties. If you haven't used these codes, I'm not going to go through all of them, just the new ones. Play M20, I've already used it, but Play M20 is a code, and Level Up is a code, so please check those out. Now I'm going to buy a Mastery Pass, but I don't have enough gems, so I need to buy somewhere in the ballpark of 3,400 gems for $19.99. So let's take care of that. Now, I believe I've said it before, tried to point it out before, that I don't usually buy things of this nature. They just, it, it's not really like cosmetic stuff doesn't do a lot for me. And I kind of question the why, but so many people have asked me about this. I want to be able to go through it here with you on the channel as we do our daily deck videos so that you can see if the mastery pass is worth it. So I need to change my payment method. Okay, is this gonna work? Now it's gonna open another window. I'm gonna awkwardly talk to you while it securely logs in. I feel so good when it says it's securely logging in as opposed to back when it just said logging in. Has we done it? Confirm purchase. Maybe. Little spinny wheels tell me something's happening and whoa. Easy. Pro gamer moments. Okay. 3,400 gems. Give me that. Give me that. Now, there was a lot of complaining about, like, the gem amounts versus dollars and the predatory-ish practices of not being able to buy exactly the gem count that you need to buy the things that you want. But, let's put it this way. At least they have a 3,400 option for the Mastery Pass, and here it is being 3,400 gems. Credit where it's due. And, wait, what? No, plus 10 levels, save 20%. What? I've been jebated. I've been so jebated. Gain access to Mastery Pass rewards until the next set release. So it's only for a limited time too. I don't have these gems though. Now I need to go back and buy more gems if I want to do the next level. So gross. So I have a feeling most people will buy this level. So this is what I should do. They both say they're 200 plus value when fully unlocked. Like. Why do we have two? What? I'm so annoyed already. I, I hate this. I hate this. I'm so mad. Okay. Fine. I did this. I got whatever this is. I guess it's a sleeve. I got an elemental cat at common. I don't know what I do with this. I got some packs. It, claim prize. I, claim prize? You mean the thing I bought? That's kind of a funny way to call a prize. All right, Chandra, Chandra, Chandra. Big Chandra. I take an Omnath, too. Oh. The Cavalier I have the most of that I think is the worst. Cool. Good deal. All right. But we're not trying to be all salty today. We've got decks to play. And uh, I've already brewed up, as you can see, a stew of decks. And I think we're going to start... I, I think a lot of people are going to try out... Uh, some of these decks over and over and over. You're probably going to see them on a lot of channels, uh, things of that nature. So the first thing I'm going to do is try out this base white flyer deck. I have no idea what Noxious is going to play, what Merchant's going to play. I have, I have no idea what Mogwai's played. I don't, I have them subbed, but I don't get a lot of time to watch anymore. So when you tell me you just made a deck like so-and-so, that, that's my impression. See, I don't really know people in my comments for the most part unless we build a relationship and I see them over lots of videos and lots of years. So the most of the part, the random comment from the person I don't recognize sounds in my head like, you don't get back from the And uh, yeah, they're like, why you play same deck as Merchant? Why did you play the same deck as Mog? Why did you steal a deck from LVD, you monster? It's like, no, I honestly don't know what they're up to. I'm just doing my thing. I'm trying to. And I have a lot, we probably have a lot of the same interests. They're cool and they play magic. I'm an 
not cool, but I play magic. And here we go. This is a white-blue flyer deck. We've got Spell Pierces and Dovin's Vetoes to protect our board from sweepers. We've got Favorable Winds to make our flyers buffy and beefy. We've got Chart, of course, to draw some extra cards, keep the gas going. Dovin makes two flyers, so he can be cool. The Empyrean Eagle is a bird spirit that gives all flyers plus one, plus one, which is fun. We've got Tomic hanging out. He flies. He shuts down Nyssa. Nyssa can't tart, like do things to lands while Tomic is out there. And then we have all the baby flyers. So Rustwing, Pegasus, Healer's Hawk, Duskborn, Sky Marcher. They're also all white. And this was so that I could really like focus my mana base towards white mana and not run like double blue spells. So that when I play the Sephara Sky's Blade for one white mana, I can also leave up a Veto or a Spell Pierce and things like that. It might be silly. Maybe I should balance my mana and just hope to draw well and draw decent mana and run some better blue flyers on the top end. In fact, I'm kind of talking myself into it right here, right now, because let's face it, the blue flyers are a lot better. You can go this route if you want to, but the Storm Tamer is so much better than the um, Rustwing Falcon. And the other pirate is a new card that's very, very fun. And that is Spectral Sailor, which is also very, very uh, good compared to the Duskborn Sky Marcher. You can do an almost all white version, and I think part of it was that I wanted to run Tomic, but I'm down to only two copies. It is legendary. You can't run too many. Some people also run Warkite Marauder in the deck. That might be good. Right now I'm trying Chartacorse. Um, Chartacorse is such a bad draw, though, with the Loyal Pegasus. Maybe 16 one-drops is a bit much. <laughs> uh, you gotta love the deck building on the fly with CGB today, do you know You know what I mean? Alright, so Loyal Pegasus is a fun new card, but so bad with Chart of Course that maybe now this is our card draw, we just have to cut the charts, we can run the War Kites, more creatures, all beats, all beats, and a couple of counters, that's it, that's it, why be resilient when you can get them dead, alright. And let's also balance out our mana. So maybe an awkward start to the video where we're still building the deck, but that's what it's like when you're brewing with a new format and uh, there isn't content out there on the deck already when you're really just starting from scratch. I think it's also kind of good to show that you can change up your deck and how adjusting a card here and adjusting a card there, there takes your deck down different paths. Uh, really fun stuff for you people getting into brewing Magic the Gathering. Let's go get wrecked. So we got this pass thing, what's it mean? I paid for it, god darn it. Um, we're on five, I guess. Or current level four, one pack. For five wins, I get nothing, good deal. Oh wait, now I get this stuff though, right? So I got this stuff just for buying it. Wow, the cat makes noise. I got this stuff just for buying it, and now because I'm on this path, I get a mastery orb instead of nothing. Hey, look at that psychological uh, dan like kick to my to my chest. <laughs> so um, in the mastery tree, we place our orbs and then we build out to all these certain rewards, branching in each color. I don't think it matters if I use a white deck, a blue deck, a green deck or whatever to get this done, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe it does, because I think the like free-to-play beginner tree, you do have to use a deck of a certain color or do a certain quest, but maybe that's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. All right, we've probably been recording like 10 freaking minutes without gameplay. That's what happens when they throw weird mastery stuff at us. Let's, let's, let's do some damage. Let's attack something. Let's go play some ranked, why not? Only one way to know if the deck's good. Ew. Like, super gross. Loyal Pegasus in favorable wins, favorable wins. But on the upside, maybe we draw, like, almost the rest of our deck is flyers and they will all be huge. Ugh. Just seems so bad. Seems like I should mulligan it. The London mulligan exists for a reason here, right? This is like a worst nightmare hand, you'd say, but the mana's good. 
If I just spend my first two turns going Pegasus, wins, wins, and then I play another flyer, they're all really big. And if it's a one white flyer, I can protect it with a spell pierce. So maybe this is a loosey-goosey keep. The London Mulligan probably means I don't have to keep hands like this. Oh, is this my cat? Oh, hi. Oh, it's nice to me. That's right. When the pets are over here, they're always mean and hissy. But this is this kitty purrs. This kitty loves me. Look at that draw. Sexy. And we'll be able to attack through the mighty Grazer, which does have reach. Can block creatures with flying. No. No, this is too beefy. I guess the game's over. All right. Favorable wins. We're going to need a lot. I guess we're attacking for more than our opponent is on the bright side. All right. Please don't play another large creature. Play something I can spell pierce, which is probably asking a lot from a green deck. But they do sometimes have planeswalkers. Okay. All right. It's a race. But our opponent can block. We can't really block. I could play out the Hawk, but countering Anissa, I guess this already counters Anissa. Vivian Reed is another thing I may just want to counter. This is a tough call. I do know I'm attacking. Like this part, this part I'm sure about. I can block the Steel Leaf Champion now, but am I gonna regret it for life if I play this? If I take five here and next turn my opponent takes eight, I'm definitely winning the race. I don't have to play this now. I don't have to play this now. Well, now they have six mana anyway, so if they had Vivian, and I mean the four mana Vivian, the new Vivian, then Spell Piercing, it won't work anywho. Holding up Spell Pierce against green decks. What am I doing? If we draw another one drop flyer though, it's on. Oh, it is on. Opponent is in the tank on this one. What could they be going for? A very cheap finale for one. I guess I could make them pay two more. They must have something else they want to do with their mana. I mean, going to get like a Llanowar Elf here is pretty cheap, but yeah, let's make them use their mana, I guess. I guess they're getting a Grazer. Grazer can block, but we'll just make them use their mana. Uh, you can attack with that. Kind of weird. <gasps> but we can't do it because it's a white one drop. If it was a blue one drop, this would come down, but oh well. So for sure, we charge. Go team. Down to nine. Pegasus. Gila Haka. Three life. These can both block the Steel Leaf Champion. And the opponent will scoop it up. Too much bird, too much power. Arch Nemesis Green hath fallen. Hey guys, let's take a quick break to talk about Flipside Gaming's core 2020 booster box giveaway. From now until July 15th, you can win an entire box of M20 for free if you follow these steps. Number one, find $10 or more worth of stuff at flipsidegaming.com that you like. Easy. They have singles, they have sealed product, and they have all the gaming supplies you need. So, number two. Use the promo code CGB before checkout. This saves you 10% and it supports the channel at the same time. Number three, complete your order. That's it. Even a mono red player can figure it out. <laughs> Please check out the links in the description to read the giveaways, rules, and conditions. And thank you for supporting the channel. May the best mage win. Okay, I. why does it still say I'm here? I gotta win. How do I move up the tree? Purchase 1000 EXP to reach level 5. What? Purchase 1000 EXP? How do I purchase EXP? Why does it want more money? How do I get anything? Why does it want more gems? Do I have to put the gems into it to get this? This is... This is crap. Unless I... I mean, tell me in chat. I'm missing something, right? I thought that this was winning games. This is not winning games, apparently. This is throw more money at the problem. EXP can be earned through completing quests and special events. What is the quest? What's the quest? What's the quest? 
is this thing reward 100 gold and 50 mastery exp for a win so i need two wins to get that this is convoluted as hell or at least it feels that way i do not feel rewarded i feel jabated at every turn it's like here's here's another reason to feel stupid i'm just trying to win some games and get them dailies but hey uh, hopefully some of you at home are learning something. Um, if I draw a white source, this hand is nuts. But with London Mulligan rule, I think it's a free mulligan here. And there's some of the lands we need. And this hand is definitely nuts. So, keepsies. One of these fortresses goes to the bottom. Who needs land when you got flyers? Uh, let's get the Storm Tamer down right away. Sailor can be flashed in later, and its ability to draw a card isn't online unless we draw a ton more mana. Oh, the bane of our existence. Don't know if we can beat this deck without drawing favorable wins, like, on time. If you do draw it on time, good things tend to happen. Alright, Pegasus. Steamkin. Yeah, some people, man. They just always want to play red. You going for that? Yeah, I don't think Sky's Blade is coming down anytime ever. Sure. You killed the Pegasus. You animal. Such a good boy. Alright, I don't think I'm doing anything by not playing this card. The opponent's going to shock it, probably. Unless they're just spamming full control. I could have waited a turn to play it when I could also draw a card. Maybe that's just what we need to do, but I don't think we have a prayer. <laughs> not against red, not like this. They are spamming full control, I think. Or they just have a chain whirler. Which, it's like, if you had a chain whirler... So yeah, their, their play pattern does not suggest a chain whirler. It just suggests full control red. Alright, well now I can draw a card. And I think that's pretty much what it needs to be for a while to get back in this game. We need some card economy. We're going to take some damage for it. There's no way we're going to play this without drawing a bunch more critters. In fact, I'm probably trying to look at a case where I can play a whole bunch of things and then drop it. Alright. Whiz Lightning. That's what you're holding. You don't want to use that on a 1-1? One -one? I'm ready for my stage lighting ceremony. I do think that drawing the card's just that important. Otherwise, we're just playing out our things. They'll get killed. I don't think we beat red without drawing favorable wins. I think if you draw favorable wins into the eagle, you do, you're do you doing good. Weird. Uh, let's decline. You can have cards. It's fine. Just draw a million cards. This is fine. No problem. All right, one more one drop off the top, please. One more one drop. Damn it. Okay. Well, I don't have time to draw another card, I don't think. And we have to hope they miss on Chain Whirler. We can flash this in. We don't have to play it right now. But I need a way to counter a spell that targets me, like the next Risk Factor or whatever. But I prefer to keep this, play this, draw one more creature die you know just just get wrecked don't play against red <laughs> just don't do it all right our hand has a bunch of cheap stuff and safara maybe we'll get to play it one time in our life uh, we should definitely lead with an island, though. As much as I want to play a Healer's Hawk, we should lead with an island because we have three blue cards, and we need to play a, a blue creature every turn up until the moment we play Safara. So we have to lead with the blue. Our opponent in the tank about something. What are these sleeves? Karn? Karn using his Care Bear Stare power? I guess. Care a lot. We care a lot. Cha-cha. Cha-cha. Care a lot. We care a lot. Working together, we can make it. But da ba bum 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 ba dum bum. 
I mean, am I somebody out there? Am I the only one? Care Bear movies? Hmm? Am I the only one loving those Care Bear movies? So rude. So rude. You only get love from your own cat. I'm very good with the cats of others. I often go to people's houses and pet their cats, even their mean cats. Cats like me. Is something wrong with your kitty? My kitty's great. I guess this is what we do now. Oh, oh, oh! What did we do? <gasps> we can change kitty's color. I think we can change kitty's color. Let's try that again. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Check it out! Green kitty! Hi, kitty! All right, our opponent has finally mulliganed, and they dare say hello to me. The scum. <laughs> They're already emoting. They've wasted my considerable time. Disfigure, okay. A lot of this crap around these days. Um, I guess we could top deck the land and play the Sky's Blade. No, we don't have four creatures anymore. Let's just drop those. We could play this at instant speed, but who cares? Treasure map, sure. No, not another one of you. Alright. Beats. I'm sure that this is a Cry of the Canarium situation. It always is. So far, I've only played my uh, blue-white flyers deck against all removal dot decks. Except for that green deck. We showed that green deck the back of our hand. Double treasure map. You're going to take a lot of beating for this. And drawing that spell pierce is probably clutch. And we do have a two-turn clock. If the opponent doesn't interact by playing Spectral Sailor on end step, they're all two twos. They attack, and then they attack one more time, and it's game. So let's see what the opponent can do. They kept a card on top. They're just going map crazy. My turn. More burbs. Hey yeah. All right. If it's ritual soot, I guess they can uh, play through the spell pierce, can't they? But we'll make them use their treasures, I guess. Maybe they'll do it poorly. <laughs> they did it poorly. They did it so poorly. They could have flipped if they flipped their treasure map first and use a treasure. They could make sure their ritual resolves. I know, I'm. I, they emoted me first. They emoted me first, you guys. I gotta win. I gotta get my win somehow. Okay. I. Now it says two out of three. It said one out of two. Now it says two out of three. I'm. I'm still on level four. I don't know. I am not buying I am not buying this with gems. I am not spending another freaking gem on this thing. I feel so scummed. This said one out of two, and now it says two out of three. I'm just at a loss. I am I'm absolutely at a loss. This is this is trash. And I am glad. You know what? If I have to spend 3,400 gems to show the viewers, the couple thousand of you who are gonna watch this and you don't buy it, and you don't get the FOMOs, and you don't get suckered like this, I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy guy. It's worth it. It's freaking worth it. Duh, this hand is probably not worth it. Whatever. I think there's some serious problems with my deck. Um, I need to revisit a lot of things from the colors of the creatures and the mana to this card and whether or not it's even remotely playable. There might be another way I can do it, something better. And I gotta find it, because, yeah, I think I'm on a bad deck, but I'm not scrapping the video, mostly because of the, um, mostly because of the Mastery Tree stuff. Like, you need to know this sucks. The viewers need to know. They should also probably know that this sucks. They should know that Flyers, maybe not great, but we'll keep trying. We're not done yet. I'm just gonna keep lighting my frickin' cat on fire over here. Yep, we're in a kitty war. Oh yeah, we can both click our cats. Make your dang play. This is you boring me. 
<laughs> yeah, can't block, I know. All right, uh, another white eagle or atomic. Atomic can come out later. Eagle. Let's go, team. Maybe this vampire deck will be too worried about playing stuff and less worried about killing stuff. All right, we got a bloodthirsty aerialist. Wow, you're doing this just to grow your aerialist when you have a legion's landing out? Crazy. But, I mean, that's that's beefy. Well, hi. Well, hi there. Um, so now the opponent can't kill them. We may as well get some damage in. It does have a free... They do have a free block, but they take four. They suffer for it. All right, come on. Let me let me untap and do the thing. I really want to do the thing. I want to shock in their way down the ladder. They've got another landing. It's not the greatest. They must have something else. And it is Soren. What's Soren do here? Gonna grow the bloodthirsty one. Sure. They could have also pitched the uh, token to kill the Pegasus and grown their aerialist that way. Which I think is the play I would have made, but I can't tell them what to do. Alright, you come on down. You come on down. And then we'll play you. Kaboom. Uh, don't want to really block with you or you. So do I want to attack for three? I guess I want to attack for three. It's that or I hold this back and punish my opponent if they use a removal spell on the uh, Sky's Blade. But yeah, I'll just just be aggressive. Nine nine, hi. Tag. Let's keep you a little lower on the loyalties. My life link bigger than your life link. Yeah, the earlier list is feeling it though. It's feeling like a boss. Warkite can knock it out of the sky though if Warkite lives. Vengeful Bloodlord, what you do? Not enough. That's the answer is you do not do enough. Oh my. Oh my. Really? You're gonna give me that life? Okay. I mean I guess it you gotta stay alive and you're trying to grow this as big as you can. I get it. So, here's the thing. If we do this, our opponent's at 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, yeah, it's lethal. It is lethal. Out of the way. You did something. You did something, Safara. Good job. Awesome. The flying elephant Jesus. All right, what are we, what are we doing? We got some EXP. Oh, you, oh, I completed my quest. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm on level five. We did it. We level fived. So I got an orb. Where's my orb? Is it just in my, if I go here, will I just, okay. And now I grab my orby, and what do I use it on? I mean, all it is is a cosmetic either way. Um, uh, I guess we're playing white today. I'll just go here. Lock it in. And now I have a cosmetic raise the alarm. That's not even a card, by the way. You don't even get the card. You just get the cosmetic. All right. Fine. And what else are we doing with this? So next up is 500 golds and a pack. And then a pack of a set I don't need anymore. This is a cosmetic? Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're doing it now. This is how we do it. Um, not gonna be bottlenecked either way, so I think the easy lead off is the healer's hawk. Oh yeah, I'll show you what's up. I know how to go like thermonuclear over here whenever I want now. Yeah, it's like that, y'all, all right. Get on out there. We're gonna have it next turn. We're gonna have it next turn. We're gonna have it next turn. The opponent isn't going to thought erase it. This is going to be magical. Get it magical. Nothing is going to go wrong. Not a thing is going to go wrong. The opponent's just 
they're just gonna play their tap land, they're gonna say go, we're gonna Sky's Blade their face. End of story. It's been determined. Ah, we'll attack them with our cat. Distract them from playing that. They distract them. Distract them. Okay. All right, land go. Could be an essence scatter. There is some stick with this on the stack. Revitalize. Yes. 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 And. Turn three. It can be done. <laughs> it can be done. Come on, draw a... Uh, now we need to draw a Siren Storm Tamer. We definitely go thermonuclear for this. <laughs> I'll, gi I'll give points to the pet. The pet's pretty great. Hearts. Yep. We overreact. Oh, kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I know they have a lot of life. Let's just go super hang hangry aggro. And now what? Is it Akaya's Wrath? We didn't draw a veto. So we don't have protection. And the scoops! I guess that's your best case scenario. That is the massive upside you can hit. That's it. We did it. Alright. Gold. Four out of five now. So I see now this thing was always like the daily thing and it just, it always moves up another one. I shouldn't have been salty about that. And I did get the thing I thought I did. I just thought I was advancing a mastery level and I didn't. So now this says 800 out of 1000 EXP. Click here to view it. So I need 200 more EXP and EXP can be earned completing quests and special events. So my quest is this, I guess? It's still so unclear. So is my quest just to win a game or am I done? Now I'm waiting for a new quest. Maybe I just don't have a quest. How about special events? Are any of these EXP events? I don't see anything about EXP for any of these. So am I done? Is that all I can do? Is this just gonna stay this way? At 800 out of 1000 EXP? And I'm done till tomorrow or something, I guess. I don't know. This is weird. And it says I have an XP boost. I don't even know. I think I got that from using that code before I even knew what one of those was. Uh, so I hate the mastery pass. Um, you can say I was an idiot or you can point out the things that I misunderstood and you could point out that I could have read the Reddit forums and I could have read the state of the beta things to have a better understanding of what I was buying. Like those are all legitimate uh, things that you can say about my approach here. But my approach, quite frankly, is from the position of what I would assume where most Magic players are. Most people who interact with this game don't read the state of the beta, do not read the Reddit posts, and might be watching this video for a guide of what the mastery pass is or how it feels or what it looks like. And I gotta tell you, it feels like a scam. Like it's, I, I have a low tolerance for having my buttons pushed by marketing these days. So when I get kind of like, ooh, get this and you get that, and then it doesn't do what I expect, or especially that thing where it's like upgrade to an even better pass for another 2000 gems when I finally just went out and got the gems for the first one. Like that is manipulative marketing to me and it just gets my fur up. The cat's pretty cool though. Like just getting to go thermonuclear with your cat while you're waiting for your opponent is kind of fun. I'll, I'll give it that, the cat's fine. But the, the rest of this is, I hate it. I hate it and I hope that you don't buy I hope you don't buy the Mastery Pass. It doesn't feel right. It feels, I, I, re, I have regrets. The only thing I like is the cat. As for the deck, the deck has some problems. Um, maybe it should be more permission based. Maybe the giant angel really shouldn't be there. We saw the best case scenario, but it also just kind of left me dead multiple times. Um, but the deck has, the deck's not in its final form, but it's a good start. So another thing you can do in chat, besides talking about the Mastery Pass, tell me about this deck. How can we improve this deck? Who knows? We never know when the next 
driven by comment build will be, for those of you who saw my Abzan Aristocrats uh, video where I built a deck completely based on viewer comments. We never know when there'll be another one. If I get enough saucy comments, maybe we'll do another one of those videos. But tell me, what am I doing wrong with my flyer deck? How can I make it better? Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.